This is new tonight at 11. This fall, a native Oregonian will be blasting off on his fourth trip to space at the space station. Astronaut Don Pettit just returned to the U.S. last week after training in Russia for the journey aboard a Soyuz rocket. In an interview you'll see only on K2, Pettit tells us about his time in the NASA astronaut program and how this mission will help further NASA's space exploration goals. K2's Jesse Satin reports. We've got all the space station mock-ups here and uh, we we have uh, uh, SpaceX mock-ups. We've We've got all the stuff. That's the cupola behind me. This September, astronaut Don Pettit will blast off in a Russian Soyuz rocket as part of Expedition 72 to the International Space Station. It will be the 69-year-old Oregon native's fourth trip into orbit. I have a, a soft spot for the state of Oregon. That's where I was born and raised. I did my undergraduate education at Oregon State. Uh, I'm born and raised in Silverton, which is a log and farming community. Pettit, who has a doctorate in chemical engineering, was selected for NASA's astronaut program in 1996. He made his first voyage into space in 2003. We were in the process of building space station at that time, and we had one-fourth the electrical power, one-fourth the pressurized volume, one-half the crew size, and we were living in space station while we were building it. Over his last three expeditions, Pettit has logged 370 days in space and conducted two spacewalks totaling 13 hours and 17 minutes. It's now been 12 years since he last returned to Earth. On this next six-month mission, Pettit's job will include conducting scientific investigations and technology demonstrations to help prepare crews for future space missions. Well, some of the experiments are going to be dealing with uh, combustion, their physical science experiments, dealing with fundamental physics. Some of them involve uh, observation platforms that are on the outside of space station that we need to maintain. Other experiments will focus on humans as the guinea pigs. We look at our own physiology through ultrasound, and sample preparation, sample sampling blood, sampling spit, sampling urine, sampling feces, they, and then doing physical measurements where we put electrodes all over our body, and then we get on one of our exercise machines and we exercise till we can't exercise anymore. All of this work done with the goal of advancing technology and eventually, hopefully, putting a human presence elsewhere in our solar system and beyond. I believe that the future for human beings is going to be expand throughout our solar system and then uh, expanding beyond that, who knows, but by the time we've uh, expanded into our own solar system, who knows where our technology will be. Jesse Satin, K2 News. And you can find our full interview with Pettit on our website at k2.com.